Hey everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a keyword gap analysis. All right, so if you want to do a keyword gap analysis, it's a great way to find untapped keyword ideas. So keywords that your competitors are ranking for and getting search traffic from, but you haven't created the content yet or your content is not ranking currently. And one of the easiest way to do a keyword gap analysis is to use a tool like SEMrush. SEMrush is a paid tool, but you can try out for free using the link in the description below. It's a free trial offer that you can use to get SEMrush for 14 or 30 days for absolutely free. And once you signed up for SEMrush for the free trial offer, on the left you're going to see Keyword Gap tool here under Competitive Research. Click on that, and as you can see here is where you're going to be able to do the Keyword Gap analysis. As you can see, you can specify up to five domains here for the analysis. You can also add domains, or if you want to analyze URLs, so you can also add URLs here by selecting URL here. But for this analysis, we're going to use root domains. You can also choose keyword types. So you can also do this analysis not just for SEO traffic, but for paid or PLA, which is um, Google Shopping ads as well. So all you have to do is add your competitors here. If you don't know how, I have a separate tutorial where I show you how to find a ton of organic SEO competitors. In this case, I'm going to copy it from this SEMrush report. Let's add one. This can see if you click on the add domain field, SEMrush will recommend organic competitors. So maybe this is the best way to do it. And all you have to do is basically then uh, click on the compare button and uh, SEMrush will do a keyword gap analysis. So as you can see, here's where you're going to get a visual overview of the keyword overlaps. So what are the keywords that nerdwallet.com, bankrate.com and creditkarma.com is ranking for? This is interesting, but not very useful, to be honest. So what you can do instead is in this example, let's say we are the SEO agency or the in-house SEO of nerdwallet.com. So we want to find keywords that are currently not ranking for, but our competitors that we have added like bankrate.com, investopedia.com or fool.com are ranking for. And all we have to do is then go to the missing tab here and we can uh, get keyword ideas or keywords that we are currently not ranking for. So as you can see in the nerd wallet column, we can see zero, which means that we are not ranking for any of these keywords, but one or two of our competitors are ranking for. So in this case, I think all of them are ranking for in some position, for instance, for reverse mortgage, which seems like a great keyword because it has more than 60,000 searches per month just in the USA. And based on the CPC data, it's also a very valuable keyword. So this is a great keyword idea. We can target based on this keyword gap analysis. And as you can see, there are a lot of keywords here. So more than 100 pages and there is 100 keywords on one. There are over 10,000 keywords we can potentially target based on this keyword gap analysis. As you can see, you can also change the device type, the geography. So all in all, this is how to use the keyword gap analysis tool in SCMrush to find untapped keyword opportunities, keyword ideas that you can use to write content and get more traffic to your website. Also, if you want to find other tutorials where I show you how to use SEMrush and other SEO tools to find opportunities to grow your search traffic and make more money from your website, I also have a YouTube channel playlist here that you can check out. And as I mentioned, you can try out SEMrush for absolutely free without any risk by using the link in the description below.